Okay, hi everyone. So, today's video is going to be cooking. Let me put my apron on because I don't want to get dirty, but I probably will. Oh shit. So in the video today that I am going to do, it's going to be um, barbecue chicken and I'm going to make some Red Robin like garlic fries and I'm going to show you guys how I make it in case you guys want to try this at home. Okay. So I'm going to first start off with the um, chicken. I'm going to show you guys the way I do the barbecue chicken. and. Obviously, you need the barbecue sauce. I use black pepper and I use this Morton seasonal salt and I use chili powder. I got another can of black pepper and then I got my things for um, the garlic fries, which I will get to once I'm done. So what we will need is you don't have to use um, two pieces, but I chose two pieces. I got two pieces of chicken breast, by the way, because that's how much I'm going to be using. So I'm going to trim the fat off first. Let me go ahead and rearrange my shit before I get started. Okay. Let me scoot in. Okay. So I got the chicken. And all what I'm going to do is just trim the fat, the extra fat that I got right there. And I already have the oven on also as well, in case you guys are wondering like how I'm going to make it. And the chicken that I'm using, um, it does not have bone in it, but you could use bone. Um, if you buy chicken that has bone, for some reason it gives it more flavor, like your chicken or your meat, whatever, and the fat gives it more flavor as well. But I don't feel like having that on my chicken, so that's why I'm trimming off the fat as we speak. So, I should be done here in just a minute. Okay. So, let me show you guys what my chicken looks like after I took the fat off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into thin strips like um, chicken tenders or chicken strips kind of. Just, you don't have to do it like this. This is the way that I'm going to do it. This chicken is really um, fat. Okay, so I got the piece like this. And I'm just going to continue to cut the pieces. And I will show you guys where I'm putting it at and everything once I am done cutting the chicken.
I love to cook. So if you guys want me to make something, like I made the lasagna for you guys. You guys have seen that. I've made iced coffee. What else have I made? Um, the egg rolls. Um, the whole chicken, I believe, the whole chicken I made as well. Not a lot, but I'm getting there. Okay. So now, um, I just got a regular size pan, and I put some, you don't have to, but I put some um, cooking spray on there just so the chicken will not stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread out the chicken on the pan. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pour some barbecue sauce. And I'm choosing to use the thick and spicy one. And then I'm gonna pour some black pepper. And for this recipe, um, if you want the um, chicken to come out kind of spicy, then just pour more black pepper. And then um, when you guys pour in the seasonal, don't pour a whole lot because this is already salty. But if you guys like a lot of salt, then pour as much as you want. I'm just gonna do a couple sprinkles just so the chicken has the flavor of the seasonal and the barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some chili pepper. I'm not going to add a lot of this. Also, I'm adding probably like a teaspoon maybe, if not a little more. Okay. Now that I got the um, ingredients on there, I'm just going to go ahead and mix them up. I'm going to put the stuff I used to the side. And then, um, this is all I'm going to do. Just going to mix up, mix up the chicken, you know. You don't have to use your hands. I washed my hands before, but you don't have to use your hands. They use, like, brushes, you know, to paint them on. So your chicken should look something like this. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it should look something like this. And then, um, since I'm using two pieces of chicken breast, I'm going to do the same thing I did with this. Do the same thing. So I'm going to get the piece of chicken. I'm going to cut it in thin strips. And then I'm just going to season it, and that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. And then I'm going to do this piece, and then I should be done with the chicken, and then I'll wash my hands, and then we will continue with the potatoes. Cut this fat off. And right now, um, I have the oven on 330, warming up. That way, when I'm done with it, it's already hot, and I just throw them in there. I am going to cook them for about 30 minutes, depending, 30, um, 30 to 40 to 45 minutes. Not a whole hour, but you could. It just depends how um, crispy you want your chicken or how, like, well-cooked. But 3.30 for about 30 minutes, 35, max 40, 45 it should be it should be more than enough and this is one of christopher's favorite recipes barbecue chicken
So do you guys like my little setup I got going on? My little table with candles? I hope you guys like it. Okay. So what I did, I'm going to do again. I'm just going to add black pepper onto the pieces that I have not coated yet. I'm going to add some seasonal. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some barbecue sauce and some chili powder. And you want to make sure that after you're done coating all the chicken with the ingredients and the barbecue sauce, that you um, spread barbecue sauce more onto your pan even though it already has chicken. That way when it's um, cooking, it's like simmering in the barbecue sauce. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like in there, you know, it's not just like the dried pieces with barbecue sauce. So I'll show you guys how the chicken looks right now. That way you guys can see what exact I am talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and um, take the, the um, oh my God, I got it to me. Take this to the trash and then I'm, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be back and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So then we could get started on the potatoes. stuff okay so I just washed this and I'm gonna show you guys now how this um how this looks okay so this is the um, barbecue chicken and I'm gonna show you guys that's how it looks oh my god I almost spill it but that's how it looks you guys can always add more um, barbecue sauce more ingredients so now that I am um done with this I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven and then I'm gonna start on the potatoes okay now let's get started with the potatoes. So I'm gonna get two um, potatoes and I'm gonna start peeling them. And then after I will tell you guys what I'm gonna do next. I really want a coffee. I'm so tired and um I need my coffee. It sucks. But anyways, um I'm done peeling the potato, so now I'm just gonna slice it like how I was kinda like how I was cutting the chicken in pieces. And then I'm gonna let you guys know what ingredients I'm gonna use. So if you guys wanna do it this way, feel more than free. I'm just gonna start 
slicing the potato. And you don't have to slice it the way I'm slicing, but this is just the way that I'm doing it. Either way, this will turn out good. Okay, so this is about how um, the potato slices are supposed to be. And now what I'm going to do is on another pan, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm going to put this on them, the potato. Now I'm going to separate them and then I'm going to start to sprinkle them with the seasoning. Okay, so now that I have them flat laid out, um, I'm going to go ahead, I have right here with me some garlic salt, and what this has, it's um, basic, you know, it's just garlic, and it says it has parsley in it, and shit, I thought this was opened. It's not. It has parsley in it and it also has um, kind of like a salty flavor to it. it. It almost smells like Red Robin. To me, that's how it smells like Red Robin, um, the garlic fries. Not Red Robin, the restaurant, but Red Robin. That's how it smells like the, their fries they make. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle the garlic salt over them and then I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm um, sorry about that. I got a text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the garlic salt all over them. Okay. So when you um, sprinkle the garlic salt on them, make sure to um, toss them over. That way you know that both sides um, got coated. And then I'm just gonna use um, some Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna throw it over. I wish you guys could smell how it smells like. And I wish you guys could taste it, but there's only so much, you know, you guys have to try it. I know, I know you guys will like it. And like I said, uh, let me know if you guys do try this recipe out, the exact one that I'm showing you guys. And let me know your thoughts about it. So this is how they look. Like I said, these are kind of, um, to me, they kind of look exactly the same and they do taste about the same too. Not everything that you try to, you know, make at home that, oh, I got a recipe from, let's say, Olive Garden for the fettuccine alfredo. Not everything that you try to get the recipe, it's not always going to be the same as the actual, you know, restaurant because I've tried to do that. For some recipes, it's like, oh, you know, Chick-fil-A, the, the little nuggets. I've tried to do it the way that they do it. I got the recipe on Pinterest and I tried it out and it's never going to be exactly the same. If you want the exact same thing, you're going to have to go to them. But I mean, you can always try and sometimes, you know, you do get lucky enough and you're like, oh, you know, 
I tried it, it worked, and it's something I liked. Well, anyways, this is how the fries look. Let me see if you guys can see that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these in the oven as well with my chicken that's cooking right now. And then um, once I get everything out of the oven, I will bring it back and show you guys how it looks. And I hope you guys like these videos. Okay, so I got the chicken out of the oven. The chicken, I'm sorry. I got the um, garlic fries out of the oven already. So let me show you guys what they look like. They look the same. They don't look any different, but they're just cooked now. And they smell. Once again, I say to you guys, I wish you guys could um, try them out, but they look and smell the exact as the garlic fries for my Robin. So now I'm going to try it out and let you guys know how it tastes like. You could definitely tell the garlic flavor. You can't really tell the Parmesan cheese. I didn't put a whole lot. These though, are not like the garlic fries that they have when they have them all greasy. I just used, I used on this pan, cookie pan sheet, whatever you want to call it, the non-stick spray. But you could add oil though. Theirs are like really oily. But um, they taste pretty good. So if you guys want to try the recipe, I will leave it in the link down below. The chicken is done already. But I just have it in the oven. I'm going to bring it out so I can show you guys what it looks like. You guys are probably wondering what happened. So I'm done with the chicken. Let me move this. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but I'm gonna show you guys as we speak. Move my laptop. Okay. So this is the chicken already done. Like I said, it's done already, but I just wanted to cook a little longer. As you guys can see as well, it's still really hot. Doesn't that look amazing? Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of cooking with me, the barbecue chicken. I showed you guys the way I make it. And then I showed you guys the way that I make these garlic fries from, well, they're not from Red Robin, but they are homemade like Red Robin. If you guys have any questions, Feel free to always ask. Don't be scared. So, I'm done with this. So, I'm going to eat a little bit. Not all of it, but I'm going to eat some. And um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And have a nice, fun Wednesday.